Good evening, everyone. One more try. Good evening, everyone. Oh, yay, much better. Now I know I'm in a union space, a worker-supported space. Um, I am Amira Woods. I am um, truly, truly honored to be here in this room today. Um, Longtime ally and supporter of ILRF. Um, I spent about 11 years at the Institute for Policy Studies, working very closely with ILRF, particularly on issues of worker rights, trying to end child labor with Firestone and the Firestone Agricultural Workers Union of Liberia. So for all of those with your checkbooks, double it up, okay? <laughs> we need the International Labor Rights Forum for their vision, for their dedication, for their persistence, and because they are phenomenal troublemakers. From Terry on to Obama and now Judy, leading the way on issues like TPP, understanding that it is these trade agreements that are stripping away the dignity of workers all over the world and fighting to make a difference, whether it's in the streets, leading marches, or on Capitol Hill. We thank you for your vision, for your hard work, um, but I'm told I have two minutes and the clock is ticking <laughs> to try to um, to introduce a phenomenal awardee this evening. And I guess I wanted to do it in the spirit of someone that I hope many of you know. Um, Thomas Sankara, who was an incredible leader of workers, of, of movements for change in Burkina Faso in West Africa, had a phenomenal saying. Are you all ready for it? Dare to invent the future. Dare to invent the future. And I guess I'm here this evening because folks that started ILRF, they dared to invent the future. They carved out a new way of doing things and they have done a phenomenal job. And there is so much happening now in Southern Africa where people are daring to invent the future. Three weeks ago, I was in South Africa with the National Metal Workers Union of South Africa, NUMSA. Anyone know of the work of NUMSA? Phenomenal group of leaders. Not only organizing for dignity for workers, but demanding an economy that works for all. So they are linking worker struggles and community struggles and forcing change, contesting the ANC after a really long time, right? leading the way. I was also privileged to meet folks from Zambia with the Rainbow Party, newly organized workers-led party, demanding an economy that works for all, daring to invent the future. They've started a new party. Well, our awardee is one of those visionary leaders who has together, I think it was a group of about 30 that first came together. They dared to invent the future. They recognized because they had been there. Raphael, whom you'll meet tonight, Raphael Sandramu, the Secretary General of the Tobacco and Allied Workers Union of Malawi, he started out there. Right? The son, the son of a farm worker, the son of a small owner, really bonded laborer in the tobacco fields. He knew it well and recognized that there wasn't a space for workers to organize, to have their voice. And that space was desperately needed in tobacco. Many of us were at the conference today recognizing the linkages of tobacco. It's almost, it really is like modern day slavery, bonded labor, slave labor. In Malawi, the workers in the tobacco industry make, are you all ready for this? The equivalent of 25 cents a day. 25 cents a day. The level of exploitation, the level of indignity 
that workers have had to face. But perhaps the biggest indignity is knowing that their children are breathing the horrific tobacco. It's hanging in their homes. They're walking in the fields. Women are exploited sexually often, exploited violently often in those very tobacco fields. And they too are feeling the health effects of breathing in the tobacco. So whether it's from North Carolina to Malawi, we recognize the importance of standing up. We recognize the importance of workers finding their voice, using that voice to build change, to build a better world. They are daring to invent the future. My time is up, but I would love now to bring up Raphael to receive this award. The Labor Rights Defenders Award for 2015 on behalf of the Tobacco and Agricultural Workers Union of Malawi.